Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will do a full review for the Infinity Glide Air 100 wireless earphones. And I have been using these earphones for four months now. And I bought it for thousand rupees from Amazon. Now the price has actually been increased to thousand one fifty rupees. So in this video, we will do a detailed review and I will tell you the pros and cons of this earphone. And also I will tell you how worth it is for the money you pay. With that said, it's Ranga here and you are watching Tech Spot. Let's get started. So guys, this earphone comes in a black color box like this. And actually here you get to see it says Infinity Glide N100 Wireless. Guys, actually this earphone is used to have, supposed to have a deep bass effect. And it also provides a dual equalizer solution. And you can register for the warranty by scanning the QR code given on the side of the box. And at the back we get to see some specifications. It says it's lightweight, it has that magnetic, what do you say, cable management. Uh, it also provides up to 7 hours of audio playback with single charge. Uh, and if you go inside the box, you actually get to see two extra pairs of ear tips provided. And you can change them depending upon the size of your ear. And Except that you also get the USB cable which is from USB A to micro USB and also the user manual and the warranty card. Guys, I actually would advise you to read the user manual before using it because there are some important instructions which are provided in the user manual. So that's all you get in the box. Now let's talk about the earphones itself. Now let's talk about the design and build quality of this one. The neckband provided here is actually plastic and you can see it is very flexible. I can even turn it like this. Though it is made of plastic, it is very durable I would say. And here on the um, right side, you get to see three buttons like this. One is for volume up, volume down and the middle one is the power button. You also get to see a LED light below this. I think if I switch on, you will be able to see it. Yes, here is the LED light as you can see and this LED light is actually used to indicate if your ear set is turned on or turned off or if it is connected with your device or not. And here on the side you get the micro USB port where you will put the pin and charge your uh, Bluetooth earphones. And the microphone is also provided inside this itself and here you actually have nothing guys. Here you can actually see the infinity branding. And also in this side you can see the infinity branding here. And regarding the ear tips, it is magnetic as you can see. And here also you get to see the infinity branding. Mm, this is supposed to have the 9mm drivers and it will have a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, which is generally found in all the earphones. And now regarding the build quality, yes, the build quality is good, I would say. And one more thing guys, this one is IPX5 sweat proof. So you can actually use it during intensive workout sessions like when you do in gym or when you do body weight workouts in your home. You can use these earphones because it has the IPX5 sweat, sweat proof protection. So this is also a good thing and the lightweight of these earphones actually uh, make it very useful when you do workouts because you don't even feel it is resting on your neck it is so light in weight so regarding the build quality yes it is good there are no cons regarding the build quality guys i forgot to mention one thing um, in many other bluetooth earphones you actually get to see that if you put the ear tips together like this it will automatically unpair from your device and if you remove it like this it will automatically pair to your device this earphone does not offer that feature so you should manually pair it using the power button if you don't want you can turn it off and if you want you can actually press it for 2 seconds and it will automatically turn on and pair to your device. Uh, though that's a minor con I would not say that's something really big issue. And regarding the bluetooth connectivity it comes with the bluetooth 5.0 which is the latest version of bluetooth. And next we will actually move on to the sound quality of the earphone which is most important for an earphone because you use the earphones to hear music or watch videos only so the sound quality here is actually very good and also guys this one actually comfortably rests in the ear like this and even if you try to shake your head or do something 
this one does not come out so that is a good thing and regarding the sound quality this one has the frequency response of 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz and it also offers a deep bass mm. actually guys there are two modes in this one is the normal mode and other one is the deep bass mode if you want to put the deep bass mode you can actually do it by pressing the volume up and volume down at the same time like this it will change to the deep bass mode and if you don't want the deep bass mode you can again press the volume up and volume down like this to the to switch back to normal mode and in the deep bass mode yes i would say it enhances the bass quite a bit but not really that great i would say it's just good and at the, regarding the sound volume yes this earphone is quite loud and even at 50 percent of your volume you get to hear it very loudly you need not put it at 100 percent or anything so regarding the sound quality i would say it is good not great but good that's all now let's move on and talk about the call quality in this earphones. I took a large number of calls with this earphones and I did not find any problem at all with that. The earphones were quite clear and I was clearly able to hear what the other person spoke and there was also no lag or anything when I hear, heard what the other person spoke. And regarding the microphone, and the other person also did not complain to me that they were unable to hear me or it was blurred or anything like that. So the call quality in this one is very good. I took a lot large number of calls and I did not have any problem at all with that. So you can do calls and take calls with this earphones itself and that is good. And one more feature actually you can see here is that if you when your uh, earphones was connected to your device when you press the middle button for some few seconds say 3 or 4 seconds it will automatically call to the lost dial number so that is a handy feature in this one you get so regarding the call quality it is good and there are no problems so call, is, call quality is good now let's move on and talk about the battery life in this one actually the company claims that this one will give up to 7 hours of audio playback and Yes, I would not say that is totally a false claim. I used this earphone for around 3 hours a day for 2 days continuously, which counts up to 6 hours. And I did not have any battery issue or it never once said that battery was low or something like that. So, the battery thing is good here and I actually watched, one day I actually watched 2 movies continuously each around 2 and a half hours. And so, both the movies together counts up to 5 hours and in between I actually took some break here and there and even at that time I did not unpair the earphones it was connected to the device and there was no battery problem or something like that and regarding the charging time it takes it would take anywhere from one and a half to two hours to charge completely and one important thing is that guys in the user manual they have said that you are supposed to charge this one only with a 5 watt charger you are not you will be able to use a fast charger like this because they are actually saying if you use a fast charger it may damage the battery so it is advisable to use only a 5 watt charger that's the actual reason why i said to read the user manual before using this earphones so regarding the battery backup the battery backup is good and the standby is also good even if you do not use it for to one or two weeks and if you keep it the battery does not drain much and after two weeks even if you connect it and put it in your ear you are able to listen to music and there is no what do you say problem regarding the battery backup yes nowadays you are actually able to see some earphones which even provide up to 10 hours or 12 hours of battery backup but i would say this itself is pretty good you can get up to six six to six and a half hours of battery without any problem and one major con i noticed in this is that uh, if you connect it to your uh, mobile phone, you will not be able to see the battery percentage in the mobile phone like what you can do with most other earphones. Uh, many earphones actually show the battery percentage in the mobile but this one does not show it. However, if the battery gets low, it will um, blink red color LED light and you will also able to be able to hear that it says battery low. So. That's the only problem I noticed it does not display the battery percentage and except that it is very good and no problem with the battery I would say. Now let's talk about the latency in this one. Uh, when you hear the music you do not get to see the latency because you hear only the audio 
and even when you watch videos in YouTube or even when you watch movies, yes, if you search for that, you will actually see their lip movement does not sync up very little bit. But most of you will not even notice that as I was searching for that wonderly, I was able to notice it. That too, now and then very little bit only, and. So there is no much latency when it comes to audio or when it when it comes to see watching videos. Ah, uh, now let's talk about regarding the gaming. This is where the major letdown is. I would say. Ah, uh, I played PUBG using this earphones. And guys, guess what? I was completely knocked down. One only after that I was actually able to hear the sound of the opponent shooting me. So in gaming it is. Totally useless, I would say at least for PUBG. This one is totally useless. So if you are trying to do gaming with this earphones, sadly this is not for you. You should search for some other better options. Uh, and I personally prefer to use only wired earphones or wired headphones while I do gaming. So in gaming, this earphones is not any good. That's it, guys. Uh, now here comes the final verdict. I would say yes, this one is worth for money, uh, except for the gaming performance. In all other fields, it is good because it is very lightweight and the audio quality is also good. Call quality, call quality is also good, and there is no much latency even when you see videos and things like that. Yes, you also have many other competitive brands out there at the same price. You get to see both, uh, and if you if you are ready to pay thousand eight hundred rupees, you get to see Sony earphones. And at two thousand rupees, you get to see Oppo and OnePlus Z earphones and many more. You have many competitors out there. So do your research, guys, because it's your money. You should be careful before buying it. Do a lot of research and see which one suits you best, and then buy it. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching my video. This video would have been useful for you. So if you felt this video was useful, do hit on the subscribe button. And also, if you like this video, hit on the like button without forgetting. Guys, my YouTube channel is still in its initial days, so I know it needs a lot of improvement. So put your thoughts in the comment section, and I will read it and I will try to improve in my next video. And do support me, guys. Thank you. That's it for now. Hopefully, I will meet you in my next video. Till then, guys, take care. Thank you. Bye bye.